Hello viewers, today I would like to make a quick little video comparing an authentic pair of Mitsutoyo electronic calipers with this knockoff pair of wannabe Mitsutoyo electronic calipers. So there's a variety of ways in which you can identify the differences and I'll show you guys a few of them that you may be educated and avoid getting ripped off when purchasing a pair. And of course the first difference that comes to mind is the length, but Ms. Toyo does offer an 6 inch, 8 inch and 12 inch variety. So for the sake of this video that is not a difference and they are supposed to be, or besides that, they're supposed to be the same exact absolute Digimatic electronic caliper. So when looking at them, the first place in which we can identify the differences between the authentic set and the knockoff pair are in the boxes or the cases in which they come. This here being the case from the knockoff pair and this being the case from the real pair. And here we can see that on the real pair, the texturing is significantly more prominent than on a fake box. Maybe we can even hear it too. A little bit ASMR comparison. Also, you can see in color, the real box is a little bit darker than the knockoff box, which is a little, it's still black, but it's a little closer to gray. This is unmistakably a black colored plastic. The next thing you'll find on the cases is that if you flip them over on the real pair, clearly you will see stamped is the country of origin here, made in Japan, as are all real Mitsutoyo tools, versus, whoops, versus our fake box, which lacks any type of indication of country of origin, because, or most likely because they are made in China, unlike the real ones or where the real one should be but anyways as we continue on if you're purchasing a new pair and you open your box a, a new pair of Mitsutoyo calipers or Mitsutoyo tool will not come with a battery already installed and these they did here you can see the battery course I've already used them before but the battery was already installed in this manner but they did throw in a battery in this little package it says Mitsutoyo and everything on here but the red flag is that the battery was already in there and another thing you can look out for is that Mitsutoyo with their tools includes a SR44 single cell battery as we can see here this is a LR44 battery so that is another flag or signal that here we got ripped off but as we continue on and look at the physical differences between the two you can first already clearly see the difference in the appearance of this sticker of a rule that is on the caliper itself the authentic one being a little bit more shiny versus the fake one having a bit more of a matte appearance and you can also see the colors themselves are a little bit darker in the blacks on the real one and the green yellow being a little bit more vibrant and brighter than the fake pair. Another thing I just noticed, you can see this line at the end. Here it's straight versus on the real pair, there is a slight arc to it. 
the next thing you will feel when handling a pair of fake Matatoyo or just low-end calipers in general that all of these edges here they are sharp and versus the real pair which the edges are only sharp where they should be and the rest of it is more finely processed and put together in a more careful manner so there's that the next thing we can do is if here we turn on our digital display you can see that on our authentic pair that the readout the numbers are a bit more dark a bit more crisp than the numbers on the fake pair of calipers as well as the color of the LCD itself being having a little bit more of a greenish tint versus the LCD on the authentic pair being a little closer to a gray color and that is another big point but the next thing if you even feel the function of it while these are very smooth being new the real pair they're smooth but I don't know one way to describe it would be that they're like almost silky smooth it's kind of weird you'd have to feel it to understand but these are well used so who knows but the next one of the most clear differences in the construction of the calipers themselves you can see that this groove along which the half of the caliper is guided upon on the real set it is carefully CNC machined with a clean little radius at the end versus the knockoff pair which sports this poor finish and I don't think that is any type of machining probably more so broached type of slot or groove in the caliper so that is another easy way to identify them so I think that between these few differences here I hope that you guys can take away and be educated when purchasing them new and or used and if you're purchasing them new the rule of thumb is that if you see them online and the deal is too good to be true guys I can almost surely assure you that you're probably going to get scammed and you're gonna get sold a knockoff pair because these six inch calipers retail for approximately 150 to 200 dollars and eight inch pair will retail for upwards of 200 around 250 dollars and you will not find them new online for a hundred dollars you will receive these which feel very, i'd say the same in construction to another pair of electronic calipers that i had which cost me twenty dollars and there's no shame in that but when if you're a machinist or anybody that creates precision components i just recommend that you invest in yourself invest in your tools and because this is one of the many faucets in which will help you create a quality product and be successful in your trade so thank you guys for watching greatly appreciate your time and i ask that you leave a like down below and another thing i want to you know share a word about guys today happens to be good friday and i just want to share with anybody that might listen the significance of this day and as we many know that today is the day that the crucifixion of jesus christ is remembered and i just i think it's important to share this because as we look around at the world things continually with each and every single day seem more grim and more dark and the places to put our hope 
people in our faith and are continually getting less and less but I'll tell you what guys there is the creator of this universe the creator of each and every single one of us as individuals and in Jesus Christ he offers each and every single one of us who believes a gift of grace to spend eternity by his side because the word of God says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God but in Jesus Christ he lived this life on this on this earth without a fault and for that he was crucified but unlike any other man he rose again and through that sacrifice guys we are justified for every single inadequacy for every single fault and given that gift of grace the Bible says that all that call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved and I know another big thing that people always are you know disturbed by is that they look around and they say like all these Christians that are judging so heavily and so angry at everything I'll tell you what guys the Bible says Jesus Christ himself says another thing and he says that there are going to be those that come to him and say Lord Lord have we not done miracles in your name have we not prophesied in your name and Jesus says to them depart from me for I never knew you guys and that's being said to those who already knew the gospel that knew the word very well but there was no love in their heart and those are the people that sit in the pews at church and now I'm not criticizing anybody at all but I'm just telling you guys that there is nobody on this earth to pay mind to except yourself and the Lord and of course your loved ones and but what I'm trying to say is have discernment, be wise, don't be heavily influenced in the path of your life here on this earth by the actions of others, especially when in those actions there is no love. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you've gotten this far, thank you very much for listening. I pray, Lord, and I ask that you guys consider what I just shared and you know, think about it. Because once our time here up on this earth is up, there will be absolutely nobody to answer to or for except for yourself and before your creator. So anyways, thank you guys for listening. Be blessed. Have a blessed day. I pray that all things in your life, lives may be constructed to greatness and to success and everything good. But remember that there's only one place where true hope, true love, true faith, true purpose can be found. And that's in the creator of this universe. He who made us to know us, to love us, to have a relationship with us, and by whom we are able to do so in Jesus. So anyways, be blessed. Thank you all very much. And have a wonderful day.